Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. I am your host, Valder Beebe. Today, I get to speak with Ed Lowe from Motor Trend. And you know he's here with great information. Ed, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right, this pandemic is just trying to take over every aspect of our life, but we still got to eat, we still got to travel, and we still need a good car. So what are your top tips for buying a car during this pandemic? It's a great question. I know it's on a lot of people's minds. Um, you know, I have three tips, and it really starts with uh, going online first. You know, go to an unbiased third-party shopping site like MotorTrend.com and do your research there and kind of get a feel for what you want. You know, decide what, what make or what model you want. Uh, you know, if you want a Ford or if you want a Chevy or if you want a Subaru or you want a Toyota or, or you know, whatever, just figure out generally what you want and then go to the manufacturer site. And when you go to a manufacturer site, they're gonna have lots of tools for you to use. Every single one of them has a build and price tool. So these are ways to sort of spec out the vehicle, pick the color you like, pick the wheels, any of the features you wanna add. Um, and they'll probably give you the pricing, at least the approximate pricing, and send you to the dealership. And at the dealership is really where a lot of the, the most uh, significant changes have been made due to the pandemic. Um, dealers these days really want to reduce your fear, reduce the anxiety about car shopping. So they've taken a lot of stuff online or virtually. So they might be able to walk you through a car virtually over your smartphone, or they might even arrange for a home test drive. That is, bring the car to your house so you can drive it around and decide whether you want it. And then when it comes time to purchase, contactless purchasing, you know, they can work with your bank or your financing, and may even be able to deliver the car to you once all the deals have been done, so you never have to set foot in a dealership. That's great and a great way to buy a car, and I think we should have been doing that a long time because you know they got this company where you can choose like a, um, a, a rotating machine. You can choose your car out of there, I, and I think their stock is through the roof. Exactly. exactly. Because of, like, like a yeah, machine. and they were a little bit ahead of the game. Yes, for sure, and I think, yes, fundamentally, after the pandemic's over, you're going to see a lot of these new technologies remain in place just because they're so convenient. Okay, tell us about Motor Trend's ultimate car rankings. Because one of the things I'm finding that people that I know, they're buying cars based on bells and whistles, and then after a little while, they don't even use the bells and whistles. That's a, that's a great point. Yeah, so, you know, Motor Trend's been around since 1949. We have over 70 years of experience, you know, ranking, reviewing, testing vehicles. We test over 230 cars a year. And we know it's very complicated. There's a lot out there. So we've really done our best to clarify and simplify all this information into what we think is the best shopping tool on the market, our ultimate car rankings. Uh, we've taken 28 different categories of vehicles, everything from sports cars to pickup trucks to SUVs to luxury cars, and we rank them from top to bottom. What's the best, you know, all the way to the bottom. And uh, we do it based on five criteria. We look at value, we look at safety, we look at fuel economy, technology, and design. And, uh, you know, this is a, a unique tool that lets the consumer really decide, you know, is it the bells and whistles they want? Are they looking for power, or for performance, or fuel economy? All there at motortrend.com slash cars. Tell us about those cars behind you and tell us what makes them the best of the best. I love that question. So over here is what we believe is the very best vehicle in the three row luxury SUV space. This is the all new Lincoln Aviator. Uh, in this case, this is the Grand Touring plug-in hybrid. So this is a phenomenal vehicle. First of all, it's got 494 horsepower, 630 pound-feet of torque, which is class leading and an incredible number, especially when you consider it's a hybrid, it's a plug-in hybrid. So you get 23 miles per gallon, but you can also drive over 20 miles in pure electric range. So you don't burn a drop of gasoline with the Lincoln Aviator. It's very tech forward. You can use your smartphone as a key to get inside of it. It's got all the driver assistance features you like, and then my favorite feature, it's got an amazing sound system, the Ravel audio system in here, 28 speakers, sounds awesome. Uh, on this, yeah, on this side, this is uh, for the more affordable, uh, it's value-laden two-row SUV, our pick of the litter in the mid-size SUV space, the Subaru Outback, incredible vehicle, all-wheel drive, also gets amazing fuel economy, 33 miles per gallon on the highway, very tech-forward, 
has Wi-Fi on board for the kids and their devices. Also has a big 11.6 inch touchscreen up front, like a tablet. Uh, also, one of the safest cars in the class, IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. That means it has all the airbags, all the advanced electronic driving features. It's got this uh, dual camera system called EyeSight that scans the road ahead for you. Uh, you know, adaptive cruise control with lane centering. Subaru Outback, our number one pick in the midsize SUV space. Those are some great incentives to get a new car, even if you don't need a new car. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. My audience, where can they go online to get more information? You know, for these cars and uh, every one of our ranked vehicles, you can go to motortrend.com slash cars. I got one quick question from you from social media. They want to know, are there more electrical charging stations for the cars? They have the cars, but they need more stations. Your, there, your take on that? Yes. Great question. More and more every day. Uh, of course, Tesla led the way with their building of their own supercharger network of stations, but there are multiple third-party uh, independent uh, you know, uh, uh, companies that are setting up their own networks of, uh, uh, of charging stations, whether it's you know, Charge America. Uh, some of the brands actually are setting up their own as well. Uh, so they're especially prevalent along major uh, arteries, major you know, um, you know, routes between big cities, that's where you're going to find the, the, the quickest and, and best uh, expansion of those uh, charging systems. Great information again, Ed. I want to thank you so very much, and thank you for being my guest and representing Motor Trends so well on the Valder BB Show. My pleasure, Valder. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.